it's a, it's a very inexperienced bowling attack. Um, Khalid's playing his fourth test match. Everett's are most experienced with 12. Um, his last test match was probably four months ago, three months ago when we were in New Zealand. Um, so we bowled poorly in that first session. No, no, so he's, he's not allowed to play. He's out the game. The game started out and he can't play. So. I think 10 o'clock and a 10.30 starts, a little bit of a difference. Um, so that half an hour delay didn't help us at all. Um, and we, we didn't start well straight after that. Um, a little hiccup. Uh, I think we bowled uh, pretty averagely in the first session, um, but then came back superbly well after lunch and, and after tea. And I suppose it's pretty even day at the moment. They've only got 230. And if we can nip up two in the morning, puts us in a good position. Um, but yep, the first that half an hour break, I don't think it did any team any favors. Um, I'm pretty disappointing. Um, but then came back really well after lunch. Uh, tell us about Mehdi Hassan Mira's uh, fielding, especially the, the run out. Uh, was that very special? Yeah, look, it's one of the best run outs I've seen. Uh, he's, 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 he's been an amazing cricketer for us with bad ball and in the field. He's taken some good catches, great energy, great attitude. Um, and that was a, a, a special run out from a guy that's really confident in his game at the moment. So um, it was very pleasing to see. Hi, Russell. Uh, two questions. Firstly, given all of your local knowledge and uh, Alan Donald's uh, local knowledge of local conditions, um, were you sort of very disappointed by uh, just just how badly the, the bowlers kind of missed their lengths in that first session and the fact that it took up until lunchtime to kind of get that right? Um, and then secondly, yeah, you've obviously gone in with the four frontline bowlers and that very much seems to be your blueprint uh, for success off the back of that uh, New Zealand win. Um, but in these sorts of conditions, do you think that, you know, a fifth bowler would have, would have been beneficial? Look, firstly, um, uh, regarding the disappointing start, it's a, it's a very inexperienced bowling attack. Um, Khalid's playing his fourth test match. Everett's are most experienced with 12. Um, his last test match was probably four months ago, three months ago when we were in New Zealand. Um, so we bowled poorly in that first session. Um, but hopefully the boys have learned from that. They're obviously a little bit nervous, all eager, excited to try and bowl in a wicket that they think is going to help them a little bit and maybe just lost their, their disciplines a little bit. And there's good learning in all of us for that. Um, and hopefully they'd have learned a lot from it because they were superb after lunch. Then regarding the, the, the five bowler thing, it would be ideal to have five bowlers. And I suppose that's where the, the all-rounder like the Shakib makes such a big difference. Um, you're not sure, do you strengthen your batting or do you strengthen your bowling? We felt, yeah, that for the way Mirage is bowling, you can bowl a lot of overs and try and type in end fast and we can keep rotating the seamers on the other end. and that's a tough ask for the seamers because they've put in some hard work here today on a wicket that probably hasn't done as much as we thought it would do. Um, but until we find somebody that can bowl some overs for us in Shakib's absence, um, that's a form that we've got to try and make the best of at the moment. With those hi. Uh, please go ahead with your question. Thank you. Hi, Russell. Russell, uh, everybody's been um, talking about this Kingsmead pitch and saying they've never seen it like this before. I mean, you've seen it a lot. Um, is it vastly different? And, and what makes it so? Is it you know, something completely unusual that we you know, kind of a pitch from outer space? Mm, yeah, look, I, I think it's actually a pretty good wicket. It's an even covering of grass. It's the, I've, I've been here where the grass is a lot greener than it, than it is today. It's pretty evenly paced. Um, Obviously, I think spins definitely come into the game as the, as the game progresses. Um, but a, a, a pretty stock standard Kingsmead wicket that we've come to expect over the last couple of years. It didn't do anything untoward. Run scoring was a bit harder when the ball got older. Um, but you got value for, for, for shots when you play some good cricket shots and you missed your length. So I think it's a pretty good test wicket at the moment. Uh, Tamim is not in the 11 because of his illness. And uh, looks like uh, seems he can get better the next day. So as Bangladesh are fielding first, can the scenario scenario be like uh, he is 
not fielding today, but betting later on the day. No, um, no, 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 so he's, he's not allowed to play. He's out the game. The game started out if you can't play, sir. So. Okay, next question, Thank you. Ronnie. Hi, Russell. How big a uh, blow it was when Tamim Gun was uh, ruled out at the last moment? And this, my second question is uh, with the, the new Vala is available in a few uh, overs. So, how you, would you like to, like your bowlers to go actually ever to about the business? Uh, I, I missed the first part of your question, but regarding the new ball, look, I think we've kept it nice and tight, particularly in this last session. So, um, the new ball, I think, is maybe six overs away, four overs away. Um, obviously, it'd be fantastic if we can pick up one or two with a new ball and try and get into the African tail. But look, we've got to keep it as simple as possible. We've got to be consistent tomorrow morning because statistically, yeah, it showed Kings me today. Every score, they won 240 for five, they 235 for four, whatever it's going to be. So that's not generally a high scoring 400, 450. And if we can keep them to somewhere just on 300, 320, that um, we're very much in the contest. Can you just repeat your first question, please, sir? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, the question was uh, how big a blow it was when uh, Tamim Iqbal was uh, ruled out in last week. Yeah, obviously, he's, he's, a, he's an important player for us. Uh, he gives us good impetus. He's an experienced player for us in this format. Um, he hasn't played a test match for a while, so I'm sure he's also very disappointed to have, have, have missed today's game. Okay. 